Let's continue this somewhere else where it's a little less distracting. Entirely too many people looking over my shoulder. <laughs> the pitfalls of filming outdoors. So, <laughs> as you can see, I trimmed up the beard, but in my process of trimming, I reached for the wrong size, you know, guide, and now I'm a lot thinner than I wanted to be. That's all right. <laughs> what do you think of my chin? So the other day, I'm having this conversation with my friend, Nina Wong, who is an artist based in Portland, and her and I were talking about process. We're talking about how we do things and how we want to achieve things and what is going to be important for us individually from years to come. My personal point of view is this. A lot of people come here attracted to me as an individual and then they see my art. So they see me, they see my attitude, they get my presence, they understand who I am as an individual and then they see that projected into my work. Nina sees things completely opposite where she wants people to see her work express themselves about how they like the work and then find out more about her as an individual. So it's a yin and yang kind of situation between us two. The thing is, you may agree with her or you may agree with me, but there is no one right way. Hers is right for her, mine is right for me, and that's just how we work it out. There is no one right way. Yours might be completely different than mine, or hers, or everybody's. Let's continue this somewhere else where it's a little less distracting. Entirely too many people looking over my shoulder. Like this guy. There's a number of places he could be making that phone call, but he's gonna make it right there. <laughs> the pitfalls of filming outdoors. This was the message I got from some people. Well, this was the message. This is me. <laughs> this is them. So as I was saying, how Nina and I work is completely different, but to compare us would be false. If she's successful or if I'm successful based on how we've approached this situation, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be successful by using that same model. Even if I succeed and I do reach my goals at a time that I feel is appropriate for when I should have reached them, that doesn't mean they work. That doesn't mean my process works. It just means that it works for me. Let's take this as an example. You see, vlogging may be the answer to my how question, like how am I going to get to where I wanna go? This might be the answer to my how question, but it may not be the answer to your how question. I don't know if you can hear this chirping in the background, but there's this squirrel that's pissed off that my dog is in the yard. More dog. So I am a fan of a lot of vloggers. Casey Neistat, Gary Vaynerchuk, the Vlog Brothers, Philip DeFranco, just to name a few. The reason I like them is because one, they come up with original content, two, they like to educate and inform, and three, they are entertaining. And because these people are at the top of their game, there are tons and tons and tons of people trying to do this based on what they see these other people doing. The problem is those people are not nearly as entertaining or as educational or informative or good storytelling or as good a storyteller as these other people. They're too dry, too stiff, too serious, too mundane, not funny, trying to be too funny, or worse, never giving any real information that is of value 
to the viewer. Now I'm not discouraging anybody from trying to become better at their vlogging experience, but there are plenty of people that just, they just don't get it. They may achieve a small audience over time, but is it possible that those people might be better spending their time and energy somewhere else? Because this is not the answer to the how question. I feel like I'm pretty good at this. I could be a lot better, but I feel like I'm pretty good at this. However, I am not good at live video. I'm not fond of the direct interaction you get with some live video. I don't operate 100% scripted, so I have a lot of pauses in between my stuff. I get distracted. I get distracted easy. I just don't think that live is the platform for me. Video is good, live not so much. This script outline for this particular video. That took me 30 minutes. Then it's gonna take me an hour to film this entire thing, plus maybe another two to three hours to edit it all down and then get it up online for you guys to see. I'm very particular about that whole process. It's what feels authentic to me as a filmmaker, for lack of a better term, and for me to do something that is inauthentic to what I feel is the right way to go about this, well, that's just not good. And since I can't have that process in live video, then that is why I don't do live video. It is not the answer to my how question. Some time back, I spoke about respecting the process. I give the quotes because that was the title of the video. I talked about respect the process. This is my process. And so to deviate from that would be inauthentic. As a human being who is trying to figure out what is the best path, what I've learned is that I can only do what is true and authentic to me, personally. Anything else would be a deviation off course. If you take into consideration my art, everything I do is based on something I have expressed or something I have thought. The things that I, the things that I write are things that I'm thinking, obviously. That's how they work. It goes from here onto here. Everything I do, everything that comes out onto a canvas is based on some idea that I've had. No big surprise there, but I'm very emotive about that. In fact, I'm very deliberate about that fact. That is what's true for me. And to bring this full circle, in order for people to understand why I do this on here, 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 they need to know me as an individual. If they don't know me, then this doesn't make as much sense. Now, maybe it doesn't need to make 100% sense, especially because I paint over most of it anyway, but to understand me as an artist, I feel like you need to know me first, and that's why I'm here doing this, because I want you to know me. And of course, I wanna know you too. That was really pandering. <laughs> And so why not put my stuff out on a platform where not only do you get to view it, but you get to interact with me, as opposed to just putting my work here, putting it up on a wall and then somebody buying it and then I get nothing as far as like back and forth. I get no report, I get no reporte, I get no banter, I get no exchange, I get no hate. <laughs> I get no love other than the fact that you bought what I made. and. This is good if you want to, well, not this one because it's not done, but you want to buy some of my stuff and put it up on your wall, great. But first, I would love to get to know you. I'd love to understand you. And so that's why I feel like it's important for me to put myself out here, to share my things with the world, to share my stuff with you, to express myself fully. And then you say, you know, I dig this guy, Dave. I'm going to go buy some of his stuff. That's your cue to go buy some of my stuff. Puppy dog. Freckles. You're being summoned. Come here. She can't see very well. Are you making this harder than it should be? Oh. She's like, this sucks, Dad. <laughs> here, stand up. Stand up. So this is Freckles. She was in the last video. And some people said, oh, more dog. More dog in the video. So that, there you go. She's sick. She's a sick puppy. But uh, we're making do. She's bumping her head and everything because she can't see very well. Right. Poor baby dog, mm, all right. But uh, yeah, we love her still. And so we'll share her with you guys a little bit because she could use the love. Say hi. Kisses, 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 kisses. All right. Oh, go do something with yourself. Okay, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, I hope it wasn't too ranty. Yeah, I, you know what, honestly, I don't care. I, I hope that it was ranty because that would be true and authentic to me, right? Anyway, that's it for this one, folks. If you liked it, do me a favor, 
Thumbs it up, heart it up, share it with your folks, with your people, with your humans, do that. If you really enjoyed this and really enjoyed some of the other videos, subscribe to my channel because that would be great and awesome and cool. I was thinking that there was something else I wanted to share with you, but I can't think of what it is right now, so we'll just go with it. Hey, folks, remember, uh, I love you very much and thank you. I appreciate you coming out. So be good today. Be even better tomorrow. See you.